Alright, so what's up? And basically, we're here on the single player, just um, just for the second episode of House Factions, generating wraparounds. And if you don't know what wraparounds is, it's like walls that go all the way around your base. Like you'll see in this video. So basically, I've got a one trunk carrier, 16 by 16. The walls are going to be genuine right here, like that. And there'll also be one here. So the walls over here like that. You'll see what I mean. Basically what the first thing you want to do is just slab. We can have use a slab or a block. It doesn't really matter. You can use a slab all the way around like this on the inside. This is just to catch the lava by the way. And then once you've done that you leave um, just the walls in the middle. Um, is it there on the just slab? Pretty sure it's there. Yes, sir. Oops. Like so. Oops, that's wrong. There we go. Hmm, pretty sure I've done that wrong. Yep. Did it wrong for me? I'm just gonna have to fix this and I'll do it work. There we go. That's right now. Going to yeah, like that. Um in this one I'm only gonna make any two walls, you can do as many as you want. I usually do about four or six wrap rounds and the rest are straight walls. And if you don't know what straight walls are, um, check out the next episode of the series and I'll be showing you how to gen them and what they are and stuff. So once you've got all the, your slabs set out, the lava is going to be in this middle block down here. So what you're going to do is, your wall's going to be here. Then you're going to build up on this brick. I'm probably going to use cobble here. Oops. Just build up like that. Um, say you're going to, let's go to like 50, no let's go to 60, say you're going to 60, you want to do that on all of the corners, so, like so, Do that. I'm gonna head and do it all in the corners all the way. Okay, so once you've got all four of your corner things up to whatever block height you're going to, I usually go to sky limit, like I'm just going to switch to make this quick. You then want to just connect them up like so. Oops. All the way around. And then, if you only have one hole on a server, you, um, it'd be easier if you had an alt, so you can just leave your alt up here, and you can mine these pillars out, and then TP back to the alt. But if you've got more than one hole, then this is easy enough. Or if you have slash back, that helps too. So basically, if you want to build two up on each corner, like that, then either leave your alt here, or set your home here, and just just like go like that and just like drop in press it up and just mine all the corner pillars I'm going to go ahead and do that alright so I've removed all the corner pillars and the next thing you want to do is just build like that and just do it inside a ring one block inwards I'll go around like this just, I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around and I'll see you then ok so once you've done the inward ring thing all the way around. The next thing you're going to do is just like so. Just all the way around. Just 
sorry if my mouse is being loud, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Okay, so when that's done, the next thing you do is just place a source of lava block. It has to be a source on each one of these um, cobblestone blocks again. Like that. I really like the lava in this pack. I don't know why. There's something about it. This takes a little while in survival because you've got to go back and get all the buckets for the source lava blocks. And you just let that float to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and skip this a little bit. Okay, so once the lava is all the way at the bottom, you've got to make sure it's all the way at the bottom. Like, completely flown down. Just going to wait here. Like 15 more seconds, you should be done. I'm in single place, the lava is throwing really fast. On factions, it will probably flow slower, depending on how much they've slowed it down. Plus, you were doing it from Skylight, so I'd recommend just leaving this in for a good half an hour. And then, right, I'm going to go ahead and just check this at the bottom. Right, yeah, the lava's good, it's all at the bottom. I'm pretty sure the squid spawning lava's in some of it. Yeah, squid spawn, I won't get it. So, you're up here. Next thing you want to do is just remove each of the cobblestone that the lava was on. And so you're just breaking it like this. Make sure you get every single piece. Good, I'll show you an easy way to check um, in a minute. See if you've missed any. So, all the way around, just breaking all the cobblestone blocks for the lava to flow down. You, you have to do this. This isn't just like an option thing. If you don't do this, your walls won't work. Well, they'll work, they'll just have a lot of streaks in them, you'll have to fix them, and it's a lot of work. And I think I've done this side, if not, I'm going to check. This is a little trick, you just push up against the corner bit of the block, and then you can see, that's the corner bit, so I don't need to break that, and I've done it all on this side. And the inlet is drink a fire resistance pot for this, but in fact, you should probably buy them. Yep, they're all done on that side. Just going to speed this up. Um, all done on that side. And oops. Pretty sure they're all done on this side, yep. Then once you've done that, the next thing you're gonna do is just remove all this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this and then I'm gonna cut the camera for a few minutes while the rest of the lava flows down. And so we can start doing the water. So go to the last block, jump up to over there, then we'll move. I'm gonna ahead and cut this. Okay, so I've gonna cut it and the lava's all the way to the bottom. So now the next thing you need to just do is just place a few water pipes here and there. Make sure there's one covering each bit of lava. And then this bit you have to wait a long, long time. Which is why I recommend doing a lot of walls at a time, so it's actually worth the time doing it. If you're on a small base, I don't re really recommend Jenny, depends how small of talking. So, as you can see, there's water over each block of lava and it's just starting to generate. So, I'm going to ahead and skip this. Okay, so once you've left it for a long, long time, make sure you do with it for a long time, so you're not getting any streaks in your walls. Um, you just go ahead and remove all the water, and then use sponges to make it quicker. And then, once you've done that, just obviously get rid of the sponges, then just break it all like this. And just do this all the way around, and I'll skip this part, because I've not got long left in the 10 minutes free of Bandicam, you know. So once you've done all that, you're just going to block off all the sources of lava, and I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around, and just skip this bit again. So once you've blocked it off all the way around, what you're going to do is just break all this bit um, all the way around like so and make sure you break those corners off as well oops just place that real quick then break these corners too because they're not actually gem they're just like that each side, 
and then you just let the lava drain and I'll see you. While we wait for the lava to drain, I'm just going to explain what I put these slabs for at the beginning. Just stop with this lava here, coming into here, and then the water falling on, and there will be a cobble mess like everywhere inside of you. Know, and right here. So this just like captured the lava, stopped it coming through, and honestly, I kind of like the look of it. Of it. But um, I'm just going to wait for the lava to fall. Oh, it's not even there yet. Is it there? Oh my god, it's pretty high up. Sheesh, this is a lot. Close slot. So we'll be back in probably about 20 minutes, I'm assuming. Alright, so the lava isn't drained yet, I just have to come and show you all this. Look how cool this looks. I, I turn the full bat off, which is a mod option right there. If I turn it on, it, it, it looks alright. And if you turn it off, it just like lights it up, it looks so nice. And we'll see you when it's all green. Okay, so we're back, and the lava's just about to finish draining. And I broke that by the way, that wasn't a patch. Um, so yeah, the lava's finished draining and now you'll see the space at the bottom of the walls. So the first thing you want to do is just come out here and then there'll be a, you need to build up all your corners, like, oh what the hell is that? You need to build up all your corners. So I'm going to go ahead and build up all the corners and then I'll just skip to the next bit. Ooh. Okay, so we're about to finish the last corner, and then, well, no, the last inside corner. Then once you've done that, you want to go to each of the bottom corners. Just remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. and then you need to build up these corners. The easiest way to do this is like this. And it's the same for each corner, you just need to build them all up. I'm going to go ahead and just skip this part because I just literally don't have the time. So you won't. Okay, so once you've done, um, so once you've done with all of your other corners, the outside ones, like that, let me just check on it. Okay, so maybe I wasn't done, I'm just going to skip this part. Okay, so when you've actually finished your corners, the next thing you want to do, I'm just going to, yeah, they're all finished now. The next thing you do is just, just get down to the bottom and you just need to patch up all of this. Like that. All the way around. And now I'm going to do the same on this one, but I'm going to go off the camera. Since, oh no, I don't need to start off the camera, I've got, I've got like two minutes left on it, so that should be good. Right. All the way around. And once you've done that, oh, maybe not. Once you've done that, you just take some slabs and just slab everything. Okay, so and you go to the outside. This should be already slabbed. Oops. Um, yep, yeah, everything's already slabbed. And then, if you're planning on making more walls, you would only water. Um, you'd never water the outside if you're going to gen more. You'd only water this bit. And obviously you'd have a roof on, so. Just need to do that. Um, yeah. yeah, you'd have a roof so the water wouldn't be flowing in towards your base. And I don't, I don't think I really need to make a video on how to make your roofs. I mean, if you don't make, know how to make a roof, then you really shouldn't be genuine at all. I mean, like, roofs are just simple, you just make these. So, when this is pretty much the finished bit of joining wraparounds, I used to do four to six of these, depending on what server I'm on. On Blaze, I have, I have four of these wraparounds, and then the rest are just straight walls. If you don't know what straight walls are, you'll see in the next episode, and I hope this helped, and I'll see you